Okay. All right. Good morning. All right. So I got everything uh, up and out and shared, and uh, we are live. Okay. So. <clears throat> What's shaking, Kenneth? How you doing? Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Barbara. Barbara. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Biggs the Clown. What's going on? We love the Biggs. I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to uh, sing you happy birthday the other day, man. That was awesome. And you said you had a great birthday. That's really awesome. I'm really, I'm really happy, dude. That's cool as shit. So, most of y'all know I did a face reveal the other day, and I would be on camera today, but the camera's down there on the ground facing the speaker, like, way over there, and I don't feel like getting out of my chair and turning it around. So, no face today, simply because I'm being lazy. I might turn my other camera on and just, like, wink at you or something. Um, so, good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning, Johnny. How are you? What's going on? Yeah, so if y'all didn't see the face reveal video, and you didn't see the live feed yesterday, or Dave, whatever it was last time, then yes, I'm I'm in face now. I'm 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 me, because my next group of videos is going to be me teaching people how to do prosthetics, and uh, makeup and so on and so forth. And I couldn't teach you how to do prosthetics if I had prosthetics on, so it was a natural evolution of uh, the video sequences. So anyway, I hope you're all having an amazing morning this morning. Uh, let me see where is uh. It was a great one, thank you. Where is my other camera? Find it, hold on. Secondary cam. There it is, it's over here on the desk. So, let's say hi to you all. Hi, <laughs> what's going on people? How are you? Good to see you. See, I'm gonna have a microphone. <laughs> like I said, I don't feel like messing with the cameras today because I'd have to hold it, I'm not gonna hold it. The other one's facing the speaker. So, we'll look at a fireplace instead. But at least you got to see my pretty face for a second. So, yes, good morning, good morning. We uh, are going to have a, a quick feed today. It wasn't going to be an hour, but um, I got to pull up my stuff. I, I'm, I'm, I was playing, I'm, I'm guilty. I was playing video games and I totally like didn't pull everything up like I was supposed to because I played video games until the last second. All right, let's see here. I wish y'all could see me dancing right now. I like this song. It's called Backbeat by Two Hertz. So, you got your coffee? Good morning, Joyster. How are you, buddy? Doing good? If I was off in the morning, so I go to sleep. I got you, I got you. Hell yeah. Got your coffee. Hell yeah. Good morning, morning. Okay, so, so, let's start off. Let's just jump right into it this morning. What do you think? I think we should just jump right into it. Good morning, Leanne. So, my advice today is, as you've heard me say it many, many times, is smile, right? But I saw a quote yesterday when I was looking at some positive things and, and, and doing my 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 little ritual that made me go, wow, that's that's awesome. And it said, smile, it's the prettiest thing you can wear. I was like, wow, that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, smile today. It's the most it's the most amazing thing you can wear. Uh, uh coffee. We need coffee. Uh, now, Leanne, I see you. Joyster says, "Good morning, Bubba." Yes, I'm drinking my coffee. Good morning, Alana. Good morning. Is everybody in here yet? Are we all here? Did the right people jumped in? We got up to 18. We're back down to 15. So, did all of the the lurkers leave, and we got the good good crew here now? Are we all here yet? The people that were just curious and lurkers came in, said hi, and left. Ha oh, ha. All right, so we got our crew, right? Everybody here? 
Well, I've never been the type to look before I leap, so do a black flip. Hell yeah. Avenatta got the biggest smile ever. I love y'all. I love you too, man. We love you too. Absolutely. Um, guys, if y'all haven't liked Joyster's page, go like it and share it out. Like, share out his content and stuff so he can get some more followers. We're trying to build him up. I'm not here yet. Good morning, Josette. Good morning. Pop in his stuff and say hi when he does live feeds. He's uh, he's gone to to the demonic side and it's really it's really entertaining. It's, he's got a really entertaining live feed. All right, so all right, so we we talked about you know being worthy. We talked about smiling. We talked about all kinds of good stuff in the last few months or last you know few feeds whatever. But uh, I saw another one too. It says, when I hear someone sigh and say, life is hard, I'm always tempted to ask, compared to what? Life is hard compared to what? Okay. We, of course, we all go through hard times. We all go through bad times. But what exactly are you comparing it to? Because life is the most challenging thing that you will ever do in this world. And it's your job as a human being to live life. It's your job as a person to be the best person you can be in this life. So when you say life is hard, what are you comparing it to? A rock? You know what I mean? It's going to be challenging. It's going to be, it's going to have its low points. It's going to have its, its, its high points. Jimmy Buffett once said in one of his songs um, about life being, some of it was magic, some of it was tragic, but I lived a good life anyway. And that is exactly what it is. Okay, so I want you to imagine for a second, you never had a bad day. Everything was perfect from day one. No issues, no problems, never angry, never sad, never upset. Completely an utter paradise, okay? then how do you know that you've had a good day? How do you know when something is good? How do you know when something is amazing or something is great? Without those low spots in your life, you have nothing to compare it to. So when something happens, it's like, oh my God, this was the best day of my life. You can only say that because you've lived through some of the worst days of your life. You understand what I'm saying? You have to have something in comparison. So in the universe, we have the yin and we have the yang. We have the dark and the light. We have you know, God and, and the devil. We have all of these different uh, analogies are the same thing. We have good and evil, positive and negative. Okay. That is how the universe works. If you break everything down to the subatomic level, everything works off of either a positive charge or a negative charge. Okay. We know that energy never dies. All right, energy cannot be destroyed. It cannot be destroyed. It can only change forms. That is a scientific proof. You cannot destroy energy. You can only change its forms. We live off of energy, okay? We don't, when, when our body dies, it's because the energy, the elect electricity in our body is no more. It's gone. There's no more little electric, electric pops going on in our brain. Our little, our subatomic level, our, our electrons and neutrons and positrons, all that good shit, blah, 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 are not functioning anymore because there's no more energy in there, okay? But life, but, but, but it does not die. It only changes forms, okay? So I want you to think about that for a second. Everything in the universe works off of positive and negative energies. Everything. It's up to us. It's, this is the free choice. This is the free will. It's up to us to choose if we want to live in a positive space or a negative space. Okay? When you look at yourself in the mirror, you are the one that's responsible to look in the mirror at yourself and decide to be positive about the person you want to be or are going to be. You understand what I'm saying? So when bad things happen to you in life, and they will, they're going to happen. It's at that moment that makes you the person you are and gives you that 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 foundation to have a better day tomorrow. Does that make sense? Another thing I say too is don't wait till I'm dead to say you love me. Don't wait wait don't wait until you're dead, until your friends are dead to tell them you love them. Be there for people while they're alive. You know what I mean? 
You know how many times I've been to funerals and I see people, oh my God, he was my best friend and oh, I got to miss him so much. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm like, where have you been the last five years? I've been over to his house every single day. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in five years. How are you? How, how are you his best friend? You might have been his best friend five years ago, but you haven't so much as called and asked him how he was doing. So don't be that person. Check on your friends, make calls, talk to people, message people. Hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? A simple act of kindness and true heart could save a life. We have 22 veterans every day kill themselves. We have multiple, more than that, way more than that, regular civilian people kill themselves every single day. If we were to show just a little bit of compassion and be like, hey, uh, I'm going to throw this out there. Hey, who's a uh, random, random, random joyster? Hey, joyster, how are you? Well, joyster might be feeling sad. Joyster might be going through some shit. And me just saying, hey, dude, how you doing? And, and truly concerned and talk to him might change everything about how he's feeling. Follow what I'm saying? Throw the positivity out there because negativity does nothing but create a void. Follow what I'm saying? Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Leanne, Leanne, love you too. Yeah, I know. That's a lot of people, Vicky. A lot of people, they only call me if I'm if they need something. I have people like that in my life too. And trust, I don't call them. I don't call them at all anymore. Once I figured out that they only use me when they need me, I don't talk to them anymore. I have nothing for them. And when they call me, I'm still there. And the reason I'm still there is because I'm going to be the better person. I'm not going to ignore them. I'm not going to ignore their calls because if they need me, I'll be there. But I'm not going to expect them to be there for me. You follow what I'm saying? So it's all in how you put your perspective. It's okay to treat people better than they treat you because that's your job as a human being is to just be happy and be who you want to be. Be the best person you can be. Make sense? Okay. So let's see here. What's next? Why is this so loud in my ears? That music was really loud in my ears for a minute. Um, what was next? I had another one. Where did I put it? My gosh, I need to clean my desk. Uh, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. All right. So, for example, if you talk to somebody and they're a complete and utter jerk, jerk, right? They're a complete and utter jerk to you and you get it and it hurts your feelings and it makes you angry and you're like, I'm angry and you snap back at them. What is the natural response of the human nature? They gonna fire back again and then you gonna fire back again and then they gonna fire back again and the next thing you know, you got a full blown argument, full, full blown fight, whatever going on there. But what if somebody's a complete jerk at you and you look at them and say, dude, I don't know what you're going through, but I'm sorry, man. I hope I hope everything is better. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you later. How much difference does that make? If somebody's bullying you, for example, if you're getting bullied, somebody's picking on you, look at them and go, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you're lazy. Yep. You're right. You're right. I could be doing so much more with my life. Well, you're fat. Yep. I could definitely lose some weight. Yep. Well, you're stupid. I can always learn. Every day, every day I could always learn more. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. What are they going to say? Well, there's nothing. You can shut them down, you know, unless it's physical bullying. And, and then you just come get me and I'll go kick their butts. Okay. But mental bullying, screaming, hollering, and yelling, it's your reaction. 10% of what happens to you is life. 90% or life is 10% of what happens to you. 90% is how you react to it. So if somebody's mentally bullying you, or yelling at you, or screaming at you, or it cuts you off on the road and you know, uh, cut takes your parking spot you was waiting on at the at the Walmart's, whatever you know, things that would normally just drive you mad and roar, you get so angry. What happens if you choose to let it go? Like eh, somebody lost their mom today. Somebody lost their dad today. Somebody lost their child 
today. Does that parking spot really matter? Does the fact the dude wasn't paying attention because he was on his cell phone and spilt his coffee and everything and ran you ran you off the road? Uh, is that really matter compared to other things? No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So you have to put everything into into perspective and learn how to react in a positive way. You know? Do the things that make tomorrow better. Absolutely, Bobby. 100%. Yeah, so like I said, if someone is bullying you and you fire back, they're going to fire back. If you give them a reaction that they're looking for, they won't stop. It'll continue. But if you look at them and go, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. All right, have a good day. You know what I mean? You're fat. Yep, yep, I could always lose weight. You're absolutely right. Have a nice day. I walk away. They're going to be sitting there looking stupid. They're going to be like, uh, well, shit. They may laugh. They may giggle. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Because one day they're going to grow up and they're going to realize, wow, I was a jerk. You know? Just always keep it in your mind that you are amazing. You have a talent. You know you do. And that talent is being you. So anyway, Lori, we are there for you if you need anything. Absolutely. I don't know what happened. I don't I missed the comment, but Lori, we are there for you. No matter what you need something, just let us know. Uh, if I'm on a bike and go down. Well, no, no, I understand what you're saying, Bobby. If you're on a bike and a guy runs you off the road and you go down on your bike. Yeah. It does matter. It does matter. But holding grudges against him and, and, and vowing death and screaming and hollering and all that doesn't do any good. You know what I mean? Um, I've lost friends in motorcycle accidents right next to me. Like we were driving together, car pulled out, boom, crash, friend dead right there. It's happened. Um, and I, it, it was an accident. The pro person wasn't paying attention, whatever. And I, I couldn't. I was angry at first, but I had to redirect my energies because it did no good for me to uh, be that angry person, you know? Good morning, Jesse. Good to see you. Yeah, we are all going, Vicky, we're all going through stuff in life. Absolutely. And and it's and it's it's hard. Life is hard. And we got we got some struggles, but uh, I promise you that if you persevere. What's on the other side of that struggle is amazing. You know what I mean? And it always has. Look in your past. Look in your past to most, some of the most darkest times in your life. After a while, after time, after your harvest came in, you were able to smile again. Coffee time. If you've got your coffee, please take a sip now. Yep. Yep. We've all lost someone here. Um you lost a son and I yeah, I I my my twin my my daughter was a twin. A lot of people don't know that. My daughter Caden, the, the Lizzie the Killer Clown was a twin and her brother didn't make it. So I know that pain. That's right. Elizabeth's birthday, she is six years old today. It is her birthday. And I plan on calling you. Elizabeth, if you can hear me, I'm going to call you a little bit later when I get off the live feed so I can wish you a happy birthday in person because Abaddon loves you, okay? And I'm sorry you don't feel great today, but uh, try to keep a smile on, okay? And we will, uh, and I'll call you in a little while, okay? Go get some coffee. Get you some coffee. Yeah, if y'all ever need anybody to talk to, please. Uh, no coffee, not yet. Here in a little bit. Well, okay. When you get some Liz Brown, take a take a sip for me, okay? Ladies, butt needs to make some coffee. Get up, and make some coffee. What's wrong with you? Your son is in jail and he's only seventeen. Um, you, you Lori, it, I don't know the circumstances behind it, but trust in the universe. Okay, you, you got to put it in perspective to the fact that if I mean, I don't know what happened. I don't know anything that, that happened, but I do know that I trust in the universe. And if he's sitting in jail right now 
it's probably it, it could have been that if he wasn't in jail he'd be dead right now or something you understand what I'm saying you have to look at the bright side maybe this is a wake up call that he needs to become a better man in the future who knows um, it's not for us to question what what's happened it's what it's what we do from this point forward and how we move forward. You understand what I'm saying? It's what we do now. So, you know, talk to him. Have faith faith in him and, and try to guide him the best you can. But being that he's 17, he's going to be making his own decisions on a lot of things. And all you can do is you can try to push him in the right direction and hope he makes it. You know what I mean? But be there for him, you know? I have a child that I, me and her do not get along at all. We do not get along. And, and I don't, I don't, I don't mess with her. She don't mess with me. Like we just don't, we don't get along at all. But if she called me right now and said, dad, I need help. I would be there. You understand what I'm saying? So we can't control our children. We can't control what they do, but we, we have to, you know, just do our best and hope for the best. So, uh, what's next? Uh, I have a feeling that more people would be in here if I were on camera. Um, I, I've noticed that when I'm on camera, I have more people. And uh, I did this whole face reveal thing. And I'm just being too lazy to pick up the camera. So, I might do that. Uh, we'll take a coffee break uh, in about a couple more minutes. And I will get up and I will fix the camera so you can see me. <laughs> Oh, that's sweet, Linda. I, I love her. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, gel won't last forever. Unless he's in county. Well, you say that it's not as bad as movies lead you to be. It's not, but yet, county, if he's in county, county sucks. Um, um, I have a very clean record. My record is 100% clean. I have a federal enhanced carry license, which means you can't have any, any history. But it does not mean I haven't been arrested. I was just found not guilty because I didn't do it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I've had a brush with the law a couple times. But thank God I came out on the, on the winning side. All right, so. <clears throat> oh, I thank you, Joyster. I appreciate it. But it's not me that's awesome. It's you guys. And the things that I talk about in the morning feeds are things that people need to hear, that people have kind of... See, when we're kids, people tell us, hey, I'm proud of you, little buddy. Hey, you did a great job. Hey, you know, uh, you, you know, you look great today. And as adults, we get so caught up into the everyday life of monotonous, just, just competitive motion that we forget to treat ourselves with kind words. We, we don't hear it very often. And when you do hear it, you're like, whatever. I, I noticed that I did it on the live feed the other day. Subconsciously, I did not mean to do it out loud. But somebody was said, when I was doing the live feed, the face reveal, and I'm walking through the mall, somebody says, oh my God, you're such a hottie. And I was like, whatever. Right? I, I didn't mean to. That just came out. I was watching the live feed later, and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize that I did that. That was a... That was a subconscious reaction because I struggle with this too every day. You know what I mean? Joyster, I will always try to have a helping hand for someone that's down. I will always try. I may not always be there, but I will try to be there. You know? All right, thank you, Shelly. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the camera here in a minute. I just gotta I just gotta get up, walk around the desk, pick it up off the floor because I dropped it yesterday. I actually moved, knocked it off the desk or off the stand, and uh, just stand it back up. Then I can turn it back on. Gotta go, Debbie. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put my camera on in just a minute. So have a good day, and we will talk to you later. In yeah, just a couple more minutes. I'll do the first half without a camera. I'll do the second half with the camera. Um. But you are a hottie. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. Um, and that's the re that's the response I should have had. Thank you. I I've said it before. Um, if you don't like the way you look, it's okay. It just means you're not your type. It means you wouldn't date yourself. You know what I mean? 
And fortunately, I like girls and I'm not a girl, so I don't think I'm pretty because I don't think men are attractive. So therefore, I don't think I'm attractive. <laughs> you can follow what I'm saying. And that's okay. I just have to get it in my brain that other people might find me attractive. You know what I mean? And learn how to say thank you. Love you too, Debbie. You have a great day and we'll talk to you later. And if you need anything, just message me. After the live feed, I'm going to call and tell, um, uh, I'm going to tell Elizabeth happy birthday and then I'm going to play some video games and I'm going to try to get some sleep today. Um, Josette says, is there any idea of the percentage of Spencer's that have the t-shirts? No, I have no idea. Uh, Q was supposed to call them yesterday and I haven't heard anything about that conversation yet. But as of yesterday with the live feed that I did, I told people, do not even waste your time. Um, they have done such a horrible job at representing the Cult of Fools and Big Chris Arts. And they have, they just really bit the bullet. Just go to cultoffools.com and order your shirt there. Mike's home. Yay. So yeah, so if you have, uh, if you want a shirt, you haven't got your shirt yet and you want one, don't even worry about going to the mall. Just go to cultoffools.com from the safety of your own computer and order it online. Get the size you need to be shipped straight to your house. Yes, Bobby, yeah. Yeah, the more the more, the more a person's gone through, the more they are, they're able to help other people. I'm a pretty pretty princess, thank you. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, don't let that negativity get in your way. Can't. Why is he putting, he just said something on the hood of my Jeep. What are you doing? All right. Anyway, uh, Lori, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for coming in. I am turning the camera on in about two seconds. Okay, so I've got to get up and I've got to move around. We're going to listen to a song for me. Listen to music for a second. Don't run away because as soon as I come back from this little bathroom break, I will have my camera on and we'll go the second half. Okay, be right back. Okay, I'm almost back. I'm almost back. A couple more things to do here. Like I just dropped my vape. Alright, I'll catch up on some of the comments and everything in a minute. We'll go into the second half of our live stream. I gotta reload. Hey, uh... Hey, are you still walking around out there? 
Will you refill me, please? Meester manager. I need a refills. I forgot to get it while I was up. Okay. Yeah, will you give me a refill too, please? Thank you, sir. <coughs> Whoop, there I is. Whoop, here I am. Okay, so. What do we got left to talk about? We talked about all our positive stuff this morning. We kind of knocked all that stuff out and, and got it uh, got it out of the way. All of you know that I think you're amazing people. So let's go over some numbers real quick. Let's look at some numbers. How about that? So, chat, face, Facebook. All right, so if y'all can, please, if you go to my page, Abaddon, uh, Abaddon Apollyon on Facebook, and you can share that out. We are sitting at, right now, 3,611 follows. I'd like to get that to 4,000, uh, if we could, please. So what you do is you go to the page, which is official Abaddon Apollyon, which is up there. You just click on the thing that's over there, wherever it's at. I think it's, uh, it's over there. Yeah, up there. So it's way over there. Click on that, you go down there, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see where it says invite friends. If, if you're on the PC, you can click invite friends, and then a box will pop up, and you select not invited, which it should already be online, but then select all, and then send invites. And that'll send invites to everybody in your friends list. And that'll help me out a lot, if you don't mind, please do that. So, once again, Facebook, scroll down on the website, which is avid official Abaddon Apollyon on Facebook. Scroll down to invite friends, select all, and uh, send those out for me. I'd appreciate that. We'd like to get up to 4,000 here pretty soon, if we can. Okay, so there's the first numbers. Um, apparently, I do have messages, so I apologize for not getting to your messages. I didn't check them yet this morning. Um, I love the way Trixie put it. She goes, what a great human disguise. Exactly. This is a human disguise. Because Abaddon lives inside of me. All right. So we got that out of the way. Let's go over to, uh, let's go over to Instagram. 854 you sent me. Th or thank you so much. That is really amazing. It helps out a lot. Um, you'd be surprised how many people are, would be interested in this and, uh, and, and enjoy it. Uh, it looks like I have had a quite a few people following me here lately. Wow. Holy crap. Oh, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong profile. Duh. What? Uh, um, I don't know what profile I need to be on. Apparently I have 153 followers on a, on a, on a profile that I don't even use anymore. Uh, and I don't even know how to get out of here. How do you un... Not now. Oh Lord. Hold on. Is it this one? Good God, where is the... There. Log out. Come on. Oh my gosh. Why is this being such a booger today? I never have this problem. There we go. Now we're on the right. Okay, so we're up to 846 followers on monster underscore Abaddon on Instagram. If you have an Instagram and you're not following me, please follow me. Elizabeth saw your costume behind you. Yeah, he's standing back there just chilling out. Yep. Uh, all right. So if you guys like same thing with the Facebook, all right, if you guys can go to the Instagram monster underscore Abaddon and give that a follow. Uh, you can also get what's called reblog or uh, uh, yeah, I think it's reblog on your phone and you can reblog uh, Instagram posts or repost. It's called repost. That's it. Repost, uh, which is a cool little app where you can like you can go in and you can like a, a post from somebody else and you can repost it on your timeline, but it links it to theirs. So that's a pretty neat little thing. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I don't have that many followers on, on Insta 
Instagrams, but I haven't been using it like I should have. All right, and let's check the final one. The final numbers we're going to check today is Tikataka. And Tikataka, we're finally over 4,000. We're at 4,054. Thank you, sir. All right, have a nice one. Thank you. Did you take her out? Thank you. Okay. Um, and let's go to analytics and let's check that out. So on the TikTok, it's monster underscore Abaddon as well. Let's see what we got here. We have had 162,364 views and 4,054 followers in 28 days. That is amazing. And I really appreciate all of your love and support on TikTok. Uh, and it's continued to grow. We're going to grow more. We're going to do some more videos here pretty soon. That's awesome. Good morning, Tricia. Good morning. You follow me on Instagram? Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter, which I never check Twitter, by the way. I never, I never check it, but I have it. Um, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is monster underscore Abaddon. It's at the bottom of the screen down there on the, on the bottom way down there. All right, so we've gone over the numbers. We talked about our positivity this morning. We talked about how to handle the things, you know. I, it's the biggest thing is when you when I've talked about. I mean, I don't I don't want to talk about religion and I don't talk about politics at all. It's none of my business to speak about these things as an entertainer, but it is my business as a human being to to try to inspire y'all to be the best people you can be. And one thing we're going to be doing, as I said with the uh, yesterday is uh, we're gonna be teaching people how to develop their characters, um, doing um, makeup, doing um, prosthetics, mass care, like all this stuff. We're gonna be talking about all those things. And this is, uh, we've got a little bit left, left to go in today's feed. So um, if you have a specific topic you would like me to talk about or research and talk about on, um, on positivity or on makeup or on anything. It could be any topic in the world. If you would like me to do some research and speak upon a topic, um, all you have to do is message me and tell me. All right, just send me a message and say, hey, can we talk about this one day on your live feed? I'm struggling with this or I'm not or whatever. Or I've got a questions about this or whatever. If you just message me, I'll be more than happy to, um... come on fingerprint, turn on. There we go. Uh, I would be more than happy to uh, do some research and uh, and we can talk about that on, on one of the live feeds. Absolutely. If you would like to talk about it in private, that's again, just message me and uh, say something. Yeah, they go by pretty fast. Especially when I take a two minute break in the middle of it. Um, if you'd like to see a TikTok video or a video of me do, doing or something like that, just let me know. Just talk to me. Uh, I am going to be changing where my camera's at because my camera, you only see half my face with the iPad here and the phone here and the microphone. So I've got like a level plane here. Um, I'm going to be changing and I'm growing my beard back. Look, beard's growing back. Uh, I'm going to be changing where my, my camera is. So you're going to have a different angle uh, here pretty soon. So don't, I didn't think about lifting it up higher today. So my apologies. Good morning, Jonathan. All right, so we've got a lot of great things going on in the community. We've got a lot of people that are uh, stepping up and 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 really getting into their characters and doing a lot of things. We have a lot of groups that are still doing the group stuff and whatever it, it might be. You know, uh, I don't know what they're doing because I'm not really following any of them. Um, I, I follow the individual actor or the individual person. So with that being said, I want y'all to understand that just because you don't see me in a group's live feed doesn't mean I don't support the actor, okay? Um, I do. I support a lot of people and I don't make their live feeds due to I have, I have a huge, I have a mental problem with sleep. I don't sleep very often. And when I do sleep, I sleep for an hour or two at a time. So I take multiple naps throughout the 24 hour period. And normally I miss a lot of live feeds unless I just happen to be sitting here and scrolling through and see them. I don't, I don't see them, but I don't, um, I don't, 
I don't not support. I, I don't know how to say that. I, I I do support the individual actors. So just because a person is in a group that I don't associate with or a group that I don't really go see that often or anything, doesn't mean I don't love them, okay? You as a person, it's you love whoever you want to love. Even if I don't even if I don't like the person, I don't care. If you enjoy someone as an entertainer, then you enjoy them and, and I support your you 100%. I want you to enjoy them. You follow what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Um, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, yes, you can get my shirts from online from Spencer's, but what I would tell you to do is go to cultoffools.com, which is up here, Cult of Fools, uh, you know, just C-U-L-T-O-F-F-O-O-L-S.com. It'll take you, that will take you to Big Chris Arts, and you can order the shirt there, choose your size, straight to your house, same price, $25. So, um, go to Cult of Fools and order your shirt from there. Is what I would say. I would say, forget Spencer's. Spencer's has really irritated me. Why? Well, thank you, thank you for the Instagram follow. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be starting to do some more lives from Instagram. I have fun on there, even though we have a really small, small group of people that come on there. I've been having a lot of fun with that, and I can do lives on TikTok now. I've over, you know, of course I can. I, I can over a thousand. I have four, over four thousand followers on TikTok. So we're going to be doing some lives on TikTok as well. So if you want to catch all of the lives, then you need to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok so you can get notified when we go live. It looks like I have to dump some followers because I had my followers sitting at 666 and apparently I followed some more people and, um, well, it, it, it knocked me up over 666. So now I got to figure out who to cut. Who do I who do I cut from the from the y'all know? You got any suggestions for me on who I who I can stop following? Because there's so many great artists. Or should I just keep following until I get the 777? What do you think? What do you think? I can knock out a couple of these. Uh, let's see. Holy crap! You just realized that this has become my morning thing. I know, right? It's a it's a morning ritual. Good look, Jason's back. Hey, Jason. What's kicking, chicken? What's happening, Captain? Well, it's making it, making it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I enjoy the morning thing. Morning thing is fun. Um, I, I but I do intend on doing more. Uh, definitely, definitely doing more. Guys, we got about 15 more minutes. If you want to share this out again, or share this out to your what? What do they say? I don't remember. Uh, share this out to your groups, your friends, your dogs, your cousins, uncles, brothers, goldfishes, sisters, whomever. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, I'd appreciate it. I can't find anybody that I that to, to unfollow here. This this is crazy. Um uh six, seven, eight, nine, I got three more. I gotta find three more people to 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 X. Who am I gonna X? Who's gonna get who's getting who's getting the kick? I don't know. Who are you? No, you're pretty good cosplay. Um who are you? No, you're definitely good cosplay. Oh gosh, I don't know. No content. Boom. You're out of here. Nope, I like your cosplay too. Guys, I don't know. Boom, you're out of here. Okay, let's see. Does that take me to it? One more. I have one more. I have one more to get away of. Uh, doing great. I've missed seeing you. Haven't seen you much on here. I know. Uh, oh, that's Jason. Oh, it's Jason. Yeah, I know. Uh, Mr. Biggs needs to start coming around more often and he needs to plan on doing a live feed with me soon He does okay, let me let me just let me just randomly just scroll here and choose one Who are you? No, that's good cosplay tag gummit. Who are you? No, nope, I know you personally tag gummit. Who are you? Ah, Good cosplay 
I wish I could find one. I'm, I'm looking for one that doesn't have any content because if you don't have any content, there's no reason to follow if you have no content. Right? So, what about you? Yeah, you can go away. Okay, boom. Done. We're right back at 666. Now I can't follow anybody else. <laughs> I, I will uh, change that if somebody comes up. If one of you guys come up with a tech talk. All right, so. Prosthetics info. Uh, prosthetics info. Here's your prosthetics info for the day. If you would like to look at some prosthetics that are cheap, affordable, and 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 start grabbing some of the supplies that you need in order to do the little videos that we're going to be doing and kind of follow along, you can go to uh, mostlydead.com. All right. Now let me go ahead and pull that up and link it. Mostlydead.com. Uh, they have professional foam latex masks and appliances. You can do small appliances or you can get full face features. Uh, they are a they are one of the rubberware distributors, just like I am. Same company that I, I uh, get my stuff from. Um, let me pin that comment when it comes up. All right, so there's foam latex costume appliances. You can get that from mostlydead.com. Okay, if you go to that link, you can get all kinds of stuff from injury effects to wigs. To, they're a really great resource for all kinds of things, spooky and spooky. All right. So let me, uh, oh, my thing clicked. Uh, let me see. Makeup and tools. Okay. So you can get the pro adhesive on there. Well, as if you go to that page, you look on the left hand side and go down to makeup and tools. The first page you see there is pro adhesive and pro adhesive remover. The Pro Adhesive is a small bottle and it will cost you, the small bottle will cost you $9.95. Uh, the remover will cost you $6.95. So it's not that expensive to go ahead and buy a couple of small appliances because you don't want to start off with a full, well, I mean, you might want to start off with a full face, I don't know. But if you buy a couple of small appliances like the horns or something like that in the beginning, the adhesive and the remover, then when we start doing the, doing the videos, and the live feeds where I'm teaching how to put the stuff on and take them off, then you'll have something there to work with. You're also going to need a mirror, uh, one that you can put kind of like where my my my, my uh, iPad is sitting here. I have a mirror about the same size that I put right in front of me so I can sit. It's got LED lights on it, so it's bright, and I can sit and look directly in the mirror so I don't have to stand in the bathroom when I'm doing them, okay? So there's some, there's some resources for you right quick. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to go. Can you, you can cut me? I don't mind. Oh, no, bro. I didn't cut you, Bobby. Um, I don't think I did. Um, I hope I didn't. Uh, I just randomly picked people that didn't have content. I didn't even look at the name. He's almost alive. Absolutely. All right. So I kind of went through some of the comments real quick there. Okay. So as I was saying, when we start doing the live feeds with the, the content of makeup and how to do the prosthetics and how to do stuff like that, then you're going to need to get some supplies first if you want to follow along with this. Uh, and like I said, you want to go to mostlydead.com. That's a good starter resource. It's a good, it, it's a good resource, period. But it's a real good starter resource. So your pro adhesive, the small bottle will be $10 and your remover will be $6.95. They also have spirit gum adhesive. Um, but I use the pro adhesive is what we're going to be using. You have uh, character appliances from full face to eyebrows to ears to, to everything. You can make, I, I have an Abaddon face that is completely from Monster, uh, mostly dead, uh, which is the chin, the brow, the horns, and the nose, cheekbones. Okay, and you can get every one of those pieces from mostlydead.com and make an Abaddon face. Um... The bulbous nose large is $18. The brow is, I gotta find it. Well, the cheekbones are $48. So some of these are a little expensive. The chin is uh, like 20 something dollars. There's there's like, I think there's like four or five different chins you can get. Um, uh, they're out of stock of the horns. Okay, so the elongated chin is out of stock too. So you can't get the chin right now. I've got a bunch of them though. Um, but you can go through there and you can look. It could be ears, horns, brow, nose, chin, any of the prosthetics. You can also get full face. They have full face prosthetics as well. 
So, Bone Blade Tech Masks. All right, so they've got the Imp Mask, the Lucius, they've got the Sinister, the Devil. Uh, a lot of these masks though, when you get them, I've noticed when you get a full face mask, most of them are small. They're really small, but they're still a really good resource for you to win with. Except once we start doing these videos that you can follow. Hey, Gotharina, how are you? It's so great to see you. So what we're just talking about before I leave out of here today, Gotharina, was we're going to give some people some resources so they can start ordering some things for when we start doing the classes on the prosthetics and everything and start doing the tutorial videos on the, that they can follow along. So if you notice that I have mostlydead.com uh, linked and pinned in the link description uh, over there, down there. Um, <clears throat> that's a great resource to get some foam latex appliances, horns, foreheads, whatever. You can go through there and dig through there and look and as well get you some pro adhesive and pro adhesive remover. Um, I would say go to Amazon to get your makeup, uh, which like I said, I use Miron, M-E-H-R-O-N makeup. You get these things and just some regular old brushes, some regular old makeup brushes to apply the makeup. And uh, we'll start doing those classes here, hopefully pretty soon. So once we get everybody caught up with uh, some supplies and everything like that, then we'll start rocking on those videos. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Anywho, uh, it is about time. It's about time for me to do my shameless plugs. And we've dropped down to about 16 people. Mm. People, people weaving. All right, so let's do some shameless plugs real quick. <laughs> All right, now, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok is Monster Abaddon. It's down there. It's on the bottom. Monster underscore Abaddon. Okay. Go put that name in right there and follow me. And of course, I'm on official Abaddon of Polyon on Facebook, which is what we're on right now watching. So, you know, uh, you know that one already. But if you go to my page, click on the link up there, go to my page, scroll down until you see invite friends, choose invite friends, select all and send out the invites. You never know who's going to really enjoy this. And I'd like to get to 4,000 pretty soon if you don't mind. So mass invite me, please. I really appreciate everything you do. Follow me on the TikTok. At the TikTok, we got a bunch of new videos up there uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, lots of stuff. Uh, have I ordered off the Cultivals website? Yes, I did. The very first shirt I have, uh, which is over there hanging off the... We can't see it because of the microphone. My Abaddon, my very first Abaddon shirt came from cultofools.com, which goes to bigchrisarts.com. So I have ordered off of them and I received my shirt really promptly. It was nice. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have ordered personally. I have ordered from them and it's it's awesome. So yes, monster underscore Abaddon, raw I'm a duck. Uh, absolutely. Please share me out. All right, if you're interested in doing the makeup tutorials and the and the, and the, and the uh, foam latex tutorials your, and the, the character progression, so on and so forth, and you don't have the supplies to do so, and you want them and you don't know where to get them from, you can get your foam latex appliances, your beginner, your actually uh, all the way up to professional. It's professional grade. It's really great, great professional, you know, stuff. But you can get you some small appliances, get your pro, -ad pro adhesive and get your pro adhesive remover from mostlydead.com, which is down there, um, linked on the, or pinned on the bar. Go get you some supplies and we can start doing that stuff together. It is amazing. You need a raw, raw, oh, you want the raw, raw. I'm sorry, hang on. Raw, I'm a duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got your raw. Sorry about that, Wyland. I forgot to do the demon voice for you this morning. So, uh, let's see. I think that's it. Abaddonapolyon.com. We were going to be, I'll be changing the entire format of Abaddonapolyon.com again pretty soon. And we're going to be putting up these links. And, uh, as we go through the videos, I will have it on Abaddonapolyon.com. I'll be making, I'll be putting the videos up there in steps. So if you missed a step because you couldn't make it one week or whatever the case may be, you can always go back and rewatch those videos from the YouTube from the Facebook or from the website itself. So we're gonna be making that happen as well. We're working on it now. I have a team working on it anyway. 
hopefully they'll have that together pretty soon um y'all if you missed the positive messages this morning uh please go back and watch we talked for about 30 minutes on really positive notes today to try to help people get into a really positive mind uh can you get a james scurvy channel also mostly dead actually they are sold out of the foam latex the 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 chins like i've used um if you want to get a face like james scurvy you have to go to scream team uh i don't know if it's dot com or not let me look at it uh screamteam.com okay and you'll look for the clown foam latex prosthetic and it is fifty dollars it'll cost you about it's like sixty dollars to get the foam latex appliance and have uh it shipped to you and yes i am on youtube but it is a ridiculously long youtube name so i don't even put it up there um if somebody wants my youtube i will link it to them and I think it's linked. It should be linked on the website. Um, let me double check. Horror, merge, have out of Polyon website. Here's website. And, oh, that's dashboard. Dad got it. Hold on. I clicked on the wrong thing. And I did it again. Aha. Welcome. That's the one I want. Scroll down. Yeah, I don't even I don't even have it linked on the website right now. So I'll link up the YouTube and have a button for it. I've got Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, I will link up the YouTube uh, here soon. I've been uploading some of the morning videos to it, but I haven't been I haven't uploaded them all yet. I'm still working on it. Good morning, Clayton. Oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in forever. I hope you're doing your family are doing amazing, bro. You're the only person I know that's derailed a train. Literally. And I love you for it. Uh, it won't let you change your new YouTube name until you have over a thousand followers. So I think it's a thousand or maybe it's 5,000. I don't remember, but I think it's a thousand followers. Once you have a thousand followers, then they can get a dedicated name. I used to have a dedicated name and they took it away when they changed the format. So, and right now it's just, it's a weird, it's, um, uh, oh yeah. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, let's see here, get out of this, click on this, go here and go to the YouTube, the Yuba tuba, sign in, oh gosh, I protect my account because it doesn't like the fact that I'm trying to log in, uh, Come on, get out of here. Okay. Uh, my channel. Yeah. So it's you could YouTube forward slash or youtube.com forward slash channel dot uc4j underscore k l n o w h c l dot and it keeps going and it keeps going and going and going and going and going. It's retarded. But here I will. Oh, I will link it. Hang on. No. I think. Uh, how do I view it as, I don't know, I'll just do this. I'll just, this will be easier. So I'll link this video, copy, paste. There, I'll link that video. If you click on that YouTube video, if, if it didn't even come up, did it? Oh, there it is. Click on that video and then you can scroll down and click on my name under the thing and you can follow it and whatnot. So. Yeah, because it's a ridiculously long name. There's my YouTube channel. If you missed the positive quotes this morning, please go back and rewatch the video and let me know what you think. If you'd like me to speak on a certain topic, just let me know. Message me and let me know what the topic is and we'll talk about it. Oh, Bobby, that's ridiculous. It's way worse than that. It's like 10 miles long. Once you click on that video, and and go to my channel look at the look at the title bar look at the bar up top and see it's like it's like halfway across the bar of just random letters and numbers way too much for me to remember so anyway good morning everyone that just came in we are getting out of here we are at the end of our at the end of our hour and we're actually two minutes over but a real quick for the new people that came in if you notice what's pinned down there is mostly dead.com if you're going to follow the foam latex appliance 
videos and the makeup tutorials and stuff, you're going to need supplies and you can get them there. Really great resource for everything. You just subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll promise you I'll be trying to add content as I go. I'm just getting, I'm kind of with YouTube and, and, and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. I'm, I'm kind of stretched out trying to figure out exactly every, where I'm putting everything. So go to go to mostlydeadcut.com, get your supplies, and we'll start those videos pretty soon. All right, I think that's it um, for the day. I love each and every one of y'all. I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else. You may have anything for me? Any questions? Q and A time, real quick. Q and A time. Glenn, I have an answer for that, but I can't say it on live stream. I'm waiting for questions because there's like a 30 second lag. So good morning, y'all. Good night, Abaddon. Love you. You was real. It was great talking to everyone. Love y'all. How did you get so sexy? Oh, that's a simple question. Lots and lots of hard work and uh, self denial. Like I deny myself pizza yesterday. <laughs> but thank you. Now, now you can't love me more than I love y'all. I love y'all. Any more questions? That 30 second, that circuit, 30 second delay is just a killer. Cause you know, we're waiting and waiting, waiting. Bye Abaddon. I wonder if I hope I do too. Um, yeah, Jennifer's here for everybody. If you want to want to want a friend requester, a friend requester. Do I have you on there, Jennifer? Do I have you friended up? I think I do. <clears throat> Let me see. Let me double check. I don't, Jennifer. I don't have you friended up, but I do now. Okay, so you should get an invite from Todd Cook. Liz Brown says, see you later, Abaddon. See you later, hot potato. Crystal, I love you as well. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all are amazing. All right, so I am out like the fat kid in dodgeball. If, I, if you have a question that you wrote down and I didn't see it because it didn't pop up yet because of the Facebook lag, then I apologize. Hit me up on Todd Cook. That is my chat site, my chat profile, okay? Um, and I'm sure any one of the people in the room can probably give it to you. So, guys, I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Rawr, I'm a duck. And love peace and chicken grease. I'm out.